Imagine this, you're writing an amazing piece of copy, a masterpiece, but then it happens. Writer's block. You can't think of any new ideas, any inspiration, and your productivity just plummets. And how do you get around this? By using a swipe file. I think a swipe file is probably one of the most useful tools in a copywriter's arsenal. Every single writer needs one, whether you're a content writer, a creative copywriter, or you do direct response. Every writer can use a swipe file to instantly get more inspiration, ideas, and also write a lot faster because when you do hit that wall and you're not typing, that means you're not getting work done and deadlines are coming sooner and sooner. If you stick around in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to build a swipe file from scratch very easily. And you can also go into the description, read the full blog post I wrote on this topic and actually get dozens of resources to include in your swipe file. All right, so let's get back to the basics. A swipe file is essentially a collection of advertisements, resources, headlines, blog posts, and other resources that essentially you use to get inspiration from. It can be inside a spreadsheet, it can be a Google Doc, it can actually be physical pieces of material and paper that you keep around you. And it can also really niche down and make a swipe file for advertisement, calls to action, sales letters. What I like to do is actually make a spreadsheet and just have different columns for all those different things. And then anytime I need inspiration for a headline, a call to action, I just pull it up, I get some ideas, and then I can align it with the project I'm working on. So here's actually how to build your swipe file. As I mentioned, I love spreadsheets, so I would go over to Google Drive, create a new spreadsheet, name it swipe file, and then you wanna start making some columns for all the different things you would swipe. These might be sales pages, landing pages, blog posts, individual pieces of copy like calls to action, offers, headlines, anything that you commonly find when you're writing, you hit a block on, make a column for that. And then the next step is probably the easiest and it's ongoing and that's actually doing the swiping. So one thing you can do is actually go out of your way to find really good advertisements, sales pages, blog posts, anything you wanna swipe and then copy those and include it inside the spreadsheet. Now, something that I like doing all the time is just keeping on that copywriting mindset. And then as I go throughout my day, and I see something really good, like an awesome sales letter that I really like, or a headline that really grabbed my own attention, then I'll take that and put it inside the swipe file. So it's gonna grow and grow over time. And you wanna make sure that anytime you see something that's really worth swiping, you put it inside the file. If you'd like to learn more about creating a swipe file and get those free resources I mentioned, once again, head into the description. You can read my full blog post to learn a bit more about this, get those resources. But also let me know in the comments down below how you like to create a swipe file. And if there's certain topics that you'd like me to talk about in a future video, let me know that as well. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you very soon.